poor. Burglars have hit a strip of Carbondale businesses twice in a month's time, walking away with some big ticket items. The thieves first struck in late January, stealing from and damaging property at four businesses located on Sweets Drive. A week ago, thieves hit a neighboring shop, Phillips Pro Cycle. They were able to cut the locks on two storage sheds, taking two ATVs and two motorcycles. Owner Mike Phillips says the thieves were experienced. They took items that they knew they could sell easily without titles, and there were other items in the storage sheds that they could have taken that were even nicer, but they knew they couldn't sell them because they, they didn't have a title, so they wouldn't be able to sell those items. Now, if you have any information about the burglaries, you're asked to call the Carbondale Police at 457-3200 or Crime Stoppers at 549-COPS. The shops on Sweets Drive have been targeted. Thieves first struck in late January, stealing from and damaging property at four Carbondale businesses. A week ago, thieves hit a neighboring shop, Phillips Pro Cycle. News 3's Lauren Berkerich has tonight's top story. Carbondale police are handling the case, and Chief Odom says there's no proof the burglaries on Sweets Drive are linked, but he says it's likely. We don't necessarily have any evidence that they were related. But the burglaries here on Sweets Drive are similar in nature. They're similar type businesses, similar type items stolen, um, so we're, we're sort of working them and investigating them as being related. First, the early morning hours of January 18th. Thieves hit Southern Illinois piping contractors picking up some license plates. Then they hit Interstate Auto to pick up a truck and trailer to haul away the four-wheelers they stole from Southern Illinois Motorsports. Along the way, JNS Corvette was vandalized. Three weeks later, Phillips Pro Cycle was the target. They took two of my new four-wheelers. They took a customer's uh, Kawasaki 750 motor. Plus two motorcycles and a Honda generator. Thieves broke the locks on two storage sheds to get at the bikes. They're very sought after and they're very easily sold on eBay. They can part them out on eBay, which a lot of people do. Owner Mike Phillips believes these thieves knew what they were doing. He says once inside the shed, they knew which bikes were valuable to take and which they should leave behind. They took items that they knew they could sell easily without titles. My guess is that stuff's out of state by now. Phillips doesn't expect to get the bikes back, but he hopes to see an arrest. Carbondale police are working on it. It's not like an arrest is imminent or, or that we've identified who it is and we're just trying to build a case. Uh, we're still following up leads and following up information that we're receiving. I'm taking measures, security measures, to give them a surprise the next time. Now, if you have any information about this burglary, call the Carbondale Police at 457-3200 or Crime Stoppers at 549-COPS. Chief Odom says he's seen burglaries on Sweets Drive before, but nothing of this magnitude. Angie? All right, Lauren, thank you for that report.